Hi traders, welcome back. In today's video, I'll show you how to run MetaTrader on a Linux server. The advantages of this setup are pretty clear. When you're paying $15 a month for a VPS, did you know that about $10 of that cost is just for Microsoft's licensing fees? And let's be honest, their operating system is bloated, slow, and a major security risk, not something I'd even consider using for trading. On the other hand, for just $5 to $10 a month, you can get a solid Linux-based virtual server that's perfect for backtesting and running your expert advisors. You'll have all the power without the unnecessary overhead. Now, setting up everything on Linux is simpler than you might think. Don't worry, I'll guide you through the very simple process, step by step. Just sit back, grab a coffee, and we'll get started. You just need to copy a few things. I've everything written up in the description. As a special bonus, I've got 5 euro vouchers for the hosting provider I recommend, Netcup. It's the best choice for Linux VPS hosting, and I'm excited to share these with you. So, let's dive in. First, you need to download the two client programs I've linked in the description one for graphical access, and one for text-based access to your server. On the right side, you'll see Mobex term. Go ahead and click on Session. Next, select the sachet. In the Remote Host field, enter the IP address that Netcup sent you via email for your server. Then, in the Username field, type root which is the admin user in the Linux world. After entering your password and pressing enter, you are connected and just need to copy the following lines. I briefly describe what they do. At first, we completely update our system. After that, we install some software we need like our desktop environment we will use and stuff like that. Also, we create a non-admin user for our MetaTrader program and set everything up. It takes some time. Maybe grab another coffee. We've skipped ahead a bit during the installation, but now it's time to add a user to our system and configure some necessary settings. Don't worry, everything is straightforward. Just follow along. At the end of this process, we'll start our desktop environment. By the way, I did have a small typo in the end, but don't worry, the written instructions are correct, so no need to worry about that. We're almost there. Who knew setting up a Linux server could be this easy, right? If this video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate your support, and I'm happy to help you with more tutorials like this in the future. At this point, we need to log out completely and switch the user settings to the new user we just created. Once that's done, log in again using the new user and we'll continue from there. Now, we'll start the desktop environment with the following command. Just copy and paste, and everything will be set up for you.
Now, we need to set up a tunnel to our server so we can access the desktop remotely. For security reasons, the desktop can only be reached directly from the server itself. We'll use Mobaxterm to do this. It's a powerful tool that lets us create an SSH tunnel and access the desktop from our local machine. I'll walk you through the process step by step. Now, click play to start the tunnel. Enter the password you set earlier, and then head over to TightVency. In TightVency, enter the following connection details to reach your server. Once you've entered the password you set up earlier when we started the VNC server, you'll be connected to your fully operational Linux system. And the best part, it's all free. Now, you might want to add the terminal to your desktop for easy access. We'll go through the process of installing MetaTrader itself and setting up the version your broker uses. Just copy that command and enter your admin password and answer with yes if prompted. And that's it. Now you can run MetaTrader terminals on Linux servers, save a ton on Microsoft license costs, and actually use the computing power you're paying for, not for a bloated operating system, but for calculations, backtests, and trading. Finally, I'll show you how to download and install other MetaTrader terminals. It's really simple. All you have to do is go to your download directory using the CD command. This stands for change directory. Then, just enter Y, followed by the executable Windows binary of the MetaTrader file. It sounds more complicated than it actually is. But once you see it in action, you'll get the hang of it quickly. I hope this video has been helpful. If you want to try out Netcup for your server, 
Don't forget to grab the 5 euros voucher for your first order, a great way to get started for even less. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.